Okay, it's Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079 and home for the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Of course, you know it's your fault, B High. Radio shout is stepping in the building. I got my A Town fam in this thing. Cash Talk, what's good with it, my dog? For sure, I'm great. I'm good. I mean, Cash, I had a chance to marinate on some of this music, man. And what I did not know and what I was not expecting was to find out that you was a big old player out here in these streets, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Talk to me about your style and what you bring into the game right now, my dog. I mean, I'm just original. Like, I'm young, but, like, old school, too. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, I'm on... I'm more of a player vibe than a gangster vibe. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I can get gangster, but I ain't gonna show it. Come rather, on now. I'd rather show how fly on me, a clean right. cut, you feel me? Exactly. Yeah. Now, I mean, talk about coming up in the A with it, though, Cash. What side, man? Zone 3, call on. Talk to me about coming out of the 3 with it, though, Cash. I mean, what was that like for you growing up in the A, seeing the environment change and just listening to this music and knowing that, hey, man, one, time, one day it's gonna be my time to get out here and do my thing in here? I mean, um, typical neighborhood hood stuff. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But it like it helped, but it hurt. Yeah. Like, like when they took the project down and stuff yeah. like that. Like it helped, but it hurt a lot because I got childhood friends. Sometimes I ain't seen. I might see them, might not even recognize them. Yeah. You feel me? Like um, everybody just got separated. You know, in project, you know, we like one big family. Big old so, family. Yeah. So now, hooking up with NEA, though, man, I mean, how did you hook up with them boys? Because right now, that NEA movement is a real strong force in the city, too. Yeah, I, I met them for backyard. It's yeah. a real backyard in McKinneyville. Break it, it down. It went just like that. We, you know, we, we used to do stuff. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? It just led to us meeting these dudes. And, and, and they believe in it. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, you can't. You can't, it's hard to get somebody to believe in somebody, you feel what I'm saying? And spend their own money Come and on. try to make you successful. So, like, once they showed us that, like, we just we just rock with them. They got they got all my loyalty. Exactly. Yeah. Now, coming out of the A with it, we were just talking off air, man, about just being a local and making your move out here, man. I mean, what is it like trying to work your move in this city when you already know the folks in the city and you trying to explain to them, you know what, I'm coming from the streets, but I'm doing this now. Right. You can't, I mean, you can't be famous. Yeah. Everybody's a celebrity. Yes. So, like, so I might be famous to one person, but the next person be like, man, I know him. I went to school with him. Exactly. Oh, we're from the same neighborhood, uh, something like that. Yeah. So, like, you can't be famous to nobody in that, because no, nobody care. Yeah. yeah and I try to explain that to folks all the time when it comes to Atlanta, because, I mean, everybody's known from for something regardless of who you are. You could be the best trash man in the city and everybody right. going to know who you is. For you could sure. be the best race car driver in the city. Everybody going to know who you is because the city is a big, small city at the same time. Hey. So it's a big family and everybody know each other. Yeah. So now, when it comes to your style and what you bringing out here, though, Cash, when you get into that studio, what is the flavor that you're kicking in that thing? I mean, the flavor just depends on how I'm feeling. Yeah. You feel me? I might, I just let the beast out when I'm in there. So, like, if I'm sad, happy, yeah. or whatever I'm going through, like, I just, I try to, even my pain music, I try not to make it so much pain. Yeah. I try to make it like, you're going to get what I went through, but you're still going to be able to have fun and yeah. rap and get drunk to it. And, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. What was it that made you decide to, you know, change directions with the music because you know everybody else will go trap heavy with what they trying to say or what they trying to do but for you when i even heard them tracks i said okay it's a player in the house right now right so i mean what was that like for you saying you know what i'm gonna go in a different direction versus what everybody else is doing out here on these tracks and like i'm still like i'm still trying to ride the wave of all the other music yeah but still like make my music define me mm -hmm. you feel what i'm saying so like it's going to sound similar, but you ain't going to never be like, okay, it sound like such and such. Yeah. You'll never do that. You feel what I'm saying? Now. I'm going to always be defined out oh, that cat talk. Facts. Now, when it comes to these projects, I mean, what do we need to be looking out for in this thing, and what do we need to be listening to? You need to be listening to Sit of God, one through three. Facts. Right now, um, Live Forever. Yeah. Um, Ghetto Children coming real soon. Ooh. Yeah, I'm moving out of it. Now, break down that City of God trilogy right there, though, man. I mean, what was it like? Beating up out of these streets with that man and growing that fan base. I mean, Cedar God one like really like I was just straight street like wasn't no label, it wasn't no structure, it wasn't nothing. It just know how to rap, I pay for studio time, go record, yeah, and it's just street just pushed that itself, and that's what got me with Indiana. Yeah, and that's when the structure came, uh -huh. 
And right. we did some things different exactly. and dropped City God too. That when I gained way more fans. Facts. You feel way more traction. And you know, same thing led to City God 3. Talk to me about being with NEA and moving on this professional level now with all of that structure. I mean, how was that for you moving through this industry and, you know, getting your feet wet in this thing and networking and growing your base? I mean, it's like transformation, like it really like, it hard, but it easy. You get what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like it's just like mindset thing. Yeah. So like I really just like did what I want to do now. Yeah. Just put everything to the side. Like in, when I want to go trap, that what I did. I yeah. wasn't going to trap. You feel me? <laughs> Other stuff. That what I did. Like it's just all about putting your mind to it. Exactly. Yeah. What advice do you got for that next guy though, Cash? That's trying to do the same thing that you're doing right now. That's watching you come out of Carver Homes with and saying, "Hey man, this guy got a real wave going right now," and I'm trying to do the same thing. Man, listen, man. I got so much advice. Like, yeah. I'd rather just do something, put and just put it out. Yeah, Cause it's so much advice. Yeah. Cause it depends on what what where you what, which where you coming from. With yeah. you feel what I'm saying? But yeah. like, I like to say, stay down, and just grind. You feel what I'm saying? Like, don't never feel like you don't need help. That's our biggest problem with in the industry. You feel what I'm saying? So like, cause we all need it. You feel yeah. me? But it's a lot of it's a lot of advice, man. Talk to me about needing that help man and how that changes the game at the same time and helps to push stuff forward because sometimes like the help part like what we think is right ain't always right yeah. you feel what i'm saying and like what i might know you might not know yeah so i can help you and like you can help me mm -hmm. so like that's a part of like creating relationship with different people that's how i really ain't got so far ahead you exactly. feel what i'm saying like just listening just listening, taking advice, and, yeah. and and learning people, and learning what they know, and, and, and it's helping me go to the next level, step by step. Yes, sir. Now, I mean, talk to me about working outside the city and working your move, man, and building that base on them outskirts to bring it back in. Though. I love it. What's that like? I love it. They show my love. I ain't gonna lie. I Are you my, serious? I love my city to the but yeah. on the road, they show way more love. It's it, it like 10 times better. What was going through your mind when you first touched down out here in this road and you realized that the love was out there for you, though, Cash? It made me want to stay on the road. Yeah. <laughs> it made me want to just dead for real. It made me want to not be at home, period. Like, I don't know how to come with that bad to get me in there. Come on just, now. Because it's like, y'all don't want to show the love while, I ain't, while I'm cheap. Come, exactly. You feel what I'm saying? But I know what you're talking about. These folks out of town, they, they coming. I'm gone every weekend. Yeah. I'm gone three, four days a week. So it like... Oh, I can't get booked there, huh? Right, it's cool. I ain't exactly. tripping. I keep doing what I do on the road. Now, being on that road, man, when you get out there and start doing them shows, what are the songs that get the crowd going wild every th time, boy? I'll talk Focus Freestyle. Ooh! I'll talk um, I'm Still Me. Yeah. Up There. Mink Coat. Come on now. Live Forever. Cause see that up there in Mink Coat, that's when I realized that she was a big old player. Yeah. When I said, "Okay, Cash, yeah. I see what's going on with For this sure. man," it felt good. Like I was telling you earlier, it was a breath of fresh air, man, to be able to hear somebody coming out of the city, but still being a player about what they got going on. Cause like you say, we can get gangster with it if we need to. Right. That's in everybody. Right. But I mean, it takes a special kind of brother to be a player out here. You right. see, anybody can be a gangster. But everybody ain't no play out right. here. You see what I'm right. saying? You don't nobody want to always hear that gangster talk. Like, it's too many artists that already on that. You feel me? So exactly. Like, I don't care nothing about no. But I'm being, I don't care how many guns you got, how much dope you done sold, yeah. how many nigga, people you done stabbed in pre. I don't care about that. Like, it like, I, right, how I'm going to be different. Yeah. If, if it's 20 of y'all rapping about this, what I'm going to be saying and what I'm going to do to be different. You exactly. Feel me? So I'm, I'm coming in. I'm big, as a matter of fact. Thanks. I'm coming in like big, you feel me? Big black is ever, you feel me? You know what's going on. <laughs> now, I feel you. Yeah. Now, when it comes to your music and the lyrics, though, Cash, I mean, what are the messages that you want to convey to your audience to let them know that you riding with them? I mean, I'm with them because, like, I ain't big on that cap rap. Like, yeah. Like, and I know a lot of people make it cool to cap. Yeah. I ain't big on that, so, like, when I'm broke, you gonna know I'm broke. Yeah. Cause I'm finna tell you why exactly. I'm broke, how I got broke, how I'm finna come back up though. Exactly. I'm finna tell you that whole story. So like, everything I, I say, you gonna relate to. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? Like, even people in school, like, they struggle too. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. So like, everybody's just gonna be able to relate to the music. What is it that you love the most about the game right now though, Cash? Um, being honest, I don't really like too much about the game. Are you serious? Mm -mm. Then what is it that you don't like? I'm then? coping with it. It's 
it, I'm coping with it. Are and you like, serious? Because it's fake. That's what I don't like. And when I say fake, like, I mean, so fake. I always knew it was fake, yeah. but none of them in it is fake on a different type of level. You feel what I'm saying? And they're like, can't no rapper tell me that they real. Break that down to me, though, man. Because, see, for the person that's watching this interview and, you know, trying to grab some game from it, can you explain to them what it's like coming from the streets, transitioning into the industry and realizing that, okay, I knew that it was a lot of smoke and mirrors, but damn. Yeah, because, like, now we like, now it like, you can't, you got to show them sides that you don't yeah. want to show. Yeah. You feel me? So, like, the emotions come out of these yeah. people now, and they're like, they start to, the gangsters start to fade. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? They start to fade. They start to look real soft. You feel yeah. me? But, yeah, like, it's crazy. It's just crazy, gang. And it's hard. It took me a long time to understand it. For real. That's why it faked me. Because it took a long time to understand it. You feel what I'm saying? What was that moment for you when it finally clicked in your head? You said, okay, this is what it is. This is what I'm working with. And this is how I'm going to maneuver off in this thing. Do I really want to be a part of it? Ooh. And then I accepted it. You feel what I'm saying? So now I know what I'm getting myself into. I know what's going on. Yeah. So I, I, at the end of the day, I got to stay real to myself. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So like that's, that's just what I'm on. I can dig that. Now, I mean, moving forward, what all you got coming up next, though, Kay? Um, right now, I'm focusing on ghetto children. Yeah, I'm working on my documentary. Ooh, um, I got a couple up oh, there video on the way. Yeah, or my check video on the way. Just a lot of more visuals. Just a lot more moving around. Just a lot more everything. Like 2020, it, it might year. Exactly. Now, okay. I mean, break down this documentary to me, though, man. What do we need to be expected from this? The real, like, like how I started rapping. Like the real way how I started rapping. Yeah. Like I'm gonna take you to like you gonna be able to. You gonna feel like you're in the hood with me, facts. Like, cause you, I'm taking you to these places. I ain't yeah. just talking about these places. I'm, I'm going to people who gonna be able to tell you my real story. Come on. Like multiple people. You feel what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, I ain't even one of them person. I don't feel like I need no voucher. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Facts. But you know, the world, yeah. these people, they need somebody <laughs> else to speak about it for them. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what I'm gonna do, and, and I'm just gonna like. Go through everything I went through like in my life. I ain't gonna tell the whole story because yeah. I got a long way to go. Yeah, you gotta so say like, something yeah, for them. Yeah. yeah. Now with this ghetto children though, man, I mean, break down the process behind creating this project. Um, everybody know Juvenile, my favorite rapper. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Ghetto Children, one of my favorite songs. Yeah. So that's how I really got the title. Uh huh. And we come from that. You feel right. what I'm saying? So like. I ain't even done with it. Like I'm still recording because every song I want it to be that that ghetto story. Like yeah. I don't want it to be that no club music. Like I want it to be that from one through whatever. How many of these songs I put on them? Yes, sir. It gonna be you gonna know what's going on. I'm talking about the fire hydrant days. I'm talking about all that. Like we ain't have pools and we ain't, you yeah, feel what I'm saying? Exactly. Like them days. Full style, full style look song. like money. Exactly. Like you don't know about <laughs> yeah. that. They tripping. Exactly. Yeah. Lastly, man, how can these folks contact you? And is there anything else you want to get off your chest, my dog? You can, um, y'all can follow me, Cat Talk One, yeah. um, on Instagram. You can really find all my social media from that. Just What's make up? it easy. Um, you know, I just pipe it. Everybody know I pipe it. You feel? I'm cool. I'm laid back. Yes, you sir. feel? Me? But I'm, I'm a humble beast. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And everybody know I'm coming. That's all they need Thanks. to know. Cash. For sure. My dog, appreciate you coming yeah. through this day, boy. Believe it. Wish you nothing but the best and much success. I appreciate it. Be high radio shout is hot 1079, man. Let's go.